Okay. Custom game. Custom game. And then I'm oh. invited back in. Yeah. All right. Uh, and cluster guy, I don't have a backup plan. Like, I'm not too worried about it. Because there's, like, nothing else, like... Because I still have... Oh. There we go. Because there's, like, no other game for me to, like, stream for this year. And after this, like, I'm just playing a few more, like... There's, like, a few more streams of this, and I'll just make it its own highlight reel. Okay. Yeah. Because I've done so many games this year. <laughs> oh, we can go. <laughs> I'm not li I'm not kidding when I said I'm it's going to take a while for me to like uh, like I'm going to have some patience but it's going to come out great when I edit the um the laughing fit from the Henry Stickman collection. Oh Jesus Christ, I'm still awaiting that. <laughs> I can't like I did not expect to laugh that hard, nor did I expect somebody to just stupidly fly a chopper towards an airship. All right, let's do it. <laughs> It was just so out of nowhere, too. Just da 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 What the fuck? <laughs> All I can do is just laugh. And you laugh for two minutes straight. Oh, yeah, it's just... Among Us VR. Um, I would have to borrow a Chrissy's, uh... VR headset? Yeah. Okay, so I'm trying to give Tasmanian nice Devil again. a chance here. Like, I'm not a big fan of the character himself. He's just... Crazy character. Like, just crazy character. That's it. Like, that's all I see out of him. I like him. Do you have I like crazy characters. I like that, too, of Taz. I know my sister had a huge love for Taz when she was a, a really big into Looney Tunes. I tried to play Bomberman 64, Derek. Um, it's... I guess that's just something I would have to get used to. Star Fox 64, I'm putting it on the side for, um... Uh, cause I'm, I'm gonna try, uh, the first Star Fox again. Nice. That was the hardest you ever... Yeah, no, like, I was just, that was such a massive laughing fit. I can't, I just, I was losing my mind. Like. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, so he could do, oh, shit, dude. Okay, so he does that. Oh! <laughs> Yoink! <laughs> what was I gonna mention as well? Oh yeah, you know what one game I'd be surprised if you end up playing? And this is mainly because I know Proton John played it. What's and that? he, and, um, well, first, I'm not gonna say the name because I just want to mention the fact that Proton John played it. And while he did consider the main game terrible, he Ow. thought the, he thought the tournament, ver the tournament aspect of the game was really good. Bomberman Act Zero. Really? That that like edgy version of Bomberman that was it. Yeah, that was a thing. Yeah. Well, um, a court from because Proton John played it because I guess a fan requested him to play it. Um, and while the main game itself was complete shit, the actual um, the tournament mode of the game was actually pretty damn good. Huh. You know what this is like the merchant like. Backtracking the topic of the whole, like, oh, they, they care more about the merchandising. You know what that reminds me of? What? Uh, what there was a game like... from Epic Games uh, who made uh, Gears of War, and they made a game for... Fuck, now the name is leaving my head. It's, uh, you play a guy and he's got some kind of electric whip. It's a first-person uh, type of game. The campaign was amazing. There was a name for it. Um, let me see, um... Game where you play with the um, game it's from where... Epic Games. Epic you mean the Games people who made Fortnite. It games game that involves a whip. Bulletstorm. Bulletstorm. That's what it was. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, apparently the game flopped because the criticism was that the um the multiplayer wasn't good. It's like who cares. Like, yeah, maybe there are just some games that are not meant to be, like, multiplayer. Yeah, unfortunately, one of the things about, um, develop about companies is that they become very obsessed on certain aspects of a game that if they don't do oh, well on one thing, it's gonna suck. Um, it's gonna pretty much be less of the focus of it. It... I'm trying to... What's... I can't... I, 
I can't tell if my surface is bad or not. Uh -huh. They whipped on it. They were whipped on the. Oh, Jedi, come on! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> 369, <laughs> baby. 69. Low! <laughs> it, it's sort of 69. similar to how. It's sort of similar to how many people, like, didn't like the the re, uh, the 2013 Twisted Metal. I don't even know that was a thing. I remember that Twisted Metal was big back in the 90s. Yeah, I mean, they did release a, a um, like, a newer version of it back in, not, not 2013, not 2013, 2012. Uh. But, um, from what I remember, it didn't do well afterwards because multiplayer wasn't that good. Hmm. But, um, another thing that just didn't help out was that it just wasn't that developed. I mean, just not that, at least, very okay. Dead fucking serious, if Boltstorm was on Steam, I would so buy that game. I can see it. On Steam? I think it is. Well, no, if it's a Epic Games, then no, it's probably on the Epic yeah. Games launcher. Yeah, mm. unfortunately, Epic Games does like the uh, like the creator of Gears of War said something about uh, him not being able to do um, like a release for the Steam because the coding what? is so complicated. Was that Cliff Wazinski? I don't know. Mm. And, and it's a shame too because I would have loved to have done like an online um, like Gears of War and actually play Horde. Horde was so much fun. Mmm, I can see it. Oh, n what? What? Sorry to interrupt, but apparently they're making a Twisted Metal TV series. Nope, let's hope it's good. Um, it's apparently gonna be on, um, on Peacock. Peacock. And Isn't according to- have that Barney documentary? I love you, you hate me. I think so. Um, apparently the plot of the game is gonna, I mean, the series Dude, is gonna be- Dude, what the be... fuck? That <laughs> creature on the lower right is shaking his ass. Why? Oh, Because Finn. why not? Okay, apparently according to this, according to Wikipedia, the plot of the series is, um, is about a driver who takes a job delivering a package across in a post-apocalyptic wasteland chased by monitors. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's gonna it's gonna feature characters like John Doe, Quiet, Agent Stone, and of course, Sweet Tooth. Apparently, Sweet Tooth is gonna be played by um, Samoa Joe from um, All Elite Wrestling. Oh God, he actually does look like he literally can be Sweet Tooth. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! I heard Samoa Joe. Samoa what? Joe's gonna be playing Sweet Tooth in the Twisted Metal show. Who is Sweet Tooth? Um, he's the clown character. He's sort of like the mascot of Twisted the flaming, Metal. Uh, right. Flaming clown head guy. Well, right. well, that's actually the correction. That's the name of his car. The name of the character is Needles Kane. Because edgy name, of course. Oh, I, I love Twisted Metal. I've been wanting a new Twisted Metal game for, like, ever now. I yeah. What happened? I, I have no idea. I, I, I got to re-experience Twisted Metal again, because I remember playing it as a kid, and it was such a bizarre but fun idea of just driving cars and blowing shit up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I, know I, did... I know I mentioned it before, but That's fuck, why. Bucks, calm down. It's only a round. <laughs> okay, yeah. I see what happened. It, it somehow reset the game mode to from free-for-all to like the standard thing. Oh, yeah, it's, I, it's, okay. it's, is that whatever I hosted? I don't know why. Like I know, like the first two games are considered good. My friend has mentioned that the third and fourth game are eh, they're okay. Black was Jesus Christ. Black was something else. Why do I see not all players are ready? Okay. Oh no. And but and I don't mean black was bad. I mean that black was really dark. Uh, I mean, I think it was... hey Jeff, how dark is black? Blacker than black. Venta black. Yeah, How much exactly. more black can you get, which is none? Choose your character. Venta black. So but I mean, that? like, it... yeah. let's try this guy. Oh wait, let's try this gremlin here. All right, this should be better. I I, I think that I have the settings back again. Jedi, I don't know, like, cause 
Okay, so here's the thing. Like, I'm a little weird with this. Um, if I'm going to see a game adaptation of something, I at least had to, like, I had to, like, I want to know about the source material because I'm just, I'm just in that particular, like, because it's, it's, when it comes to game adaptations, I want them to be good by not just being appealing to, you know, the quote-unquote masses, but also just follow the source material, which shouldn't be that hard. So, and I try to put myself in the perspective of, okay, this is based on that type of game. How close is it to matching it, you know? Because, like... And like, and for many people wondering, the thing about about adapting a material, um, you know, adapting something rather well. There we go. It doesn't have to be super like to the book, just enough so that we can look at the content and go, okay, this is the material that it's based off of, from, based off of. Because that's what most people want. Unfortunately, Damn it. video companies don't seem to realize that. You have the Resident Evil series as the prime example of that. And you have the Halo series as a big example of that. Yeah, because they're an example of not following the source material. And again, even if people want to do the whole, oh, we want to do our own different spin about it, We're fine. not here for a different spin. We're here for the actual product, or we're here for the actual thing, not, oh, this is my take on it. Okay, good for and, you. It's and dishonest. Even if, and Wait, even what? if you... That, that's another short round lived. <laughs> What the fuck happened? I mean, on the plus side, Riley won. Again. Again. Okay, w was it really just that fast? No, yes. it keeps reverting the rules. I don't know why. <sighs> what the fuck? It, it feels too easy. Why? That's what it did to me whenever I hosted. I don't know why. Alright, let me... Every time I hear about adaptations with Resident Evil, yeah, I fucking blow a fuse. Because it seems like every single time they do an adaptation, they just don't realize they should just follow the games. Yeah, it has a story right there. Just work like, with that. That's what an like, adaptation is. Like, literally, the movies, you can just growl at and move on for. But no, then you I had just, Raccoon no, City more. that literally just said, eh, fuck it, whatever. Then there was the television series, which they should have just followed accurately, but nope, they just kind of said, eh, fuck that. They did the same fucking mistake that Paul W.S. Anderson did. You know what happened? It got canceled. Yeah, it got fucking canceled. Similar to, um, what was the, see, uh, the Cowboy Bebop ad um, adaptation. That thing Speaking of Resident ass. Evil, I played the, the new, uh, I played 7 and 8. That actually got me into the Resident Evil series, not gonna lie. <laughs> I had never played an, a Resident Evil game before seven and eight. I've heard that the re that you know the later Resident Evil games are pretty damn good. Yeah, I mean, and not just because many people fucking look at um, Resident Evil Village and go, <gasps> "Lady Dimitrescu." Oh yeah, that the Dami mommy for people. The tall lady. <laughs> Dami. I still remember when, like, people said that when the English voice actress um, <clears throat> appeared um, at a game award because she apparently got an award. Oh, yeah. Voice, and all the comments we... in the stream were just, Step on me! Step on me! Step yeah, on I remember me! that, like, Gold, remember we were streaming that and, like, <laughs> I think Vlad was there and he was checking the comments and we were all just like, Oh, it's gonna be like, Dude, Step I've on seen me. so many different renditions of that as a goddamn meme. It was just like, Okay, we get it. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, can you blame them? She's fucking badass. She's a villain, but good lord, she is a good villain. Oh, Jesus. Also, also, Golden, I think I know you're probably gonna kill me for commenting this, but I'm still gonna say it. Gold Blaze Demetrescu? I'm sorry? Demetre... what? Demetrescu. Wait. Dimitrescu. Golden, gold lace phoenix as Lady Dimitrescu. Hmm. I, I would have presumed that'd be more keyframe or some other tall, um, tall pony OC.